It's Friday today, and tomorrow is a Cars and Coffee event in Des Moines. I was thinking about going down to it, but I need to pick a car to drive. Although it's nice outside today, it's in the mid-60s. It's going to be colder, about lower 50s tomorrow. And it's going to be cold when I drive down there, so I definitely want to pick a car with a roof and windows. But I'm not sure what I want to get out as the first car for the spring and take down there yet. I was thinking maybe the International Travel All would be a good choice to take. I haven't really driven it to any events in a while. I have yet to take the Fiat 850 anywhere. I actually forgot that I owned this car. I think right now I'm leaning to taking one of the Marcos or the TVRs. I think the green and the red TVR both have not been to an event yet. I think let's try to start the 2500M up. We'll have to air up the tires, check everything over. I think this is a good candidate to take. I'm going to put the battery charger on it, let it charge up while I check all the fluids. Brake fluid looks fine. Still has coolant in it. Maybe I could put a little bit more in there. Get all that crud off the top there. go. It's actually a little bit too much oil in it right now, but there's two filters and an AccuSump on here. So it will go down once the engine's running. I better check the fluid for the clutch as well. That looks good. Well, I think if it starts up just fine, it should be good to take. We do want to check that I have brake lights. Looks like I do. Well, let's see if it starts. I'll leave the TVR here overnight and then I'll come and get it in the morning and then we'll head down to Cars and Coffee. The car started right up this morning. I dusted it off and cleaned all the windows. I think I'm ready to go. I think this is a must when you're taking your first drive of the year. Take it directly to the fuel station and put some fresh fuel in it. I am going to use only ethanol free fuel. I don't put any ethanol in my cars. The ethanol fuels will do bad things to your carbs and your hoses. I did fill the tank completely up. Let's start the car and see how accurate the fuel gauge is. It doesn't go all the way to full, but that's pretty good. From over here on the driver's side, it looks almost all the way to full. The speedometer and the tachometer are not working. My oil pressure gauge on the AccuSump is not working. Oil pressure is pretty high. Water temp hasn't come up yet. And the steering wheel is not straight. So it looks like I have a few things to look at when I get back. 
Looks like the fuel gauge did finally come up to full. This really is a very comfortable car to drive. You can rest your arm up on the door sill here, put your other arm down here. All the controls are very close to you. It's a very relaxed driving position. These cars are actually very comfortable to drive. This bridge is one of my favorite parts when I come down to here. This is a mile long bridge. It's probably my favorite part because it's the only place where I'm not looking at cornfields the whole time. traffic and off the country roads the water temp is starting to come up this is where this car gets a lot less enjoyable to drive this car is not that much fun to drive when you're in traffic the pedals are so small and so close together to each other that it's a real handful when you're having to be in stop and go traffic this is a car that wants to be out on the road and going fast all right, here we are. Cars and coffee is at the Starbucks. I'm sure these cars are here for it. Looks like there's a really good turnout today. Looks like there's all kinds of cars. 72. 72. What's the motor in it? It's a TR6 straight six with triple levers. Cool. Cool. I haven't seen a TBR in forever. Yeah. It's a steady stream of cars rolling in. Let's look around and see if there's anything interesting. Lots of American muscle here now. There didn't used to be these kinds of cars showing up. This was mostly European cars that came to this Cars and Coffee, but looks like everyone is eager to get out and everything is showing up. Beautiful Alfa Romeo here. There's basically Mustangs, Camaros, and Challengers. For as far as you can see, This is the first cyber truck that I've seen in the wild here in Iowa. Little Datsun. Actually a couple 510s, both of them four doors. Here we have a hot rodded President. Custom paint job on the roof. It's right hand drive. Look at all the flake in that paint. A great Humvee. A really good condition. It's Cadillac. It's on hydraulics. There is a Lotus Amira down here. Beautiful color blue. Some of these cars, it's hard to tell if they're here for shopping or if they're here for this event. There we go. Look at this old Buick. Even though it's not shiny, it sure is a lot more interesting than some of the other cars here. I love these old Land Cruisers. I've been thinking about getting one of these. I've got an old El Camino. This is the pickup your Ute version of the Chevelle. There we go. This is the row for me. Look at this beautiful Alfa Romeo. Yeah, I like it. 
There are Porsches everywhere. I skipped over most of them. There's a few more back there. Here we have a Mustang, a Nova, and a square body Chevy. This has a twin turbo Toyota engine in it. That's pretty interesting. Well, I think it's time to get out of here. Uh, I'm glad that I came down here. It was a good excuse to get the TBR out and put some miles on it. Little disappointing that there were not more interesting cars to look at, but there's always next time. At least it's a beautiful day out. It's a good day for the TBR because it's not that hot out. My first TBR, which was a Vixen, did not have a sunroof on it. The, both of the TBRs that I own now do, and that makes all the difference in driving one of these cars on a hot day. back to the shop no problems at all the TVR ran great I have a couple items to add to my list to fix for next time but all in all it was a great drive and thanks to all of you for coming along with me I'll see you next time